When the user taps a book inside Content View, we'll present a detail view showing more information about that book, their review, their genre, and more. We'll also use this chance to reuse our rating view we made earlier, and even customize it a little bit so you can see how flexible SwiftUI is. Now to make this screen more interesting, we're gonna add some artwork that represents each one of the genres inside our project. I've already picked out some pictures for this. It's inside the GitHub repo for this whole course under Project 11 Files. Go ahead, grab those files now from GitHub. I want you to add them to your asset catalog. I'll do that now too. I have them right here. Command A, just drag them all in. These come from the website Unsplash, unsplash.com. They allow us to use pictures commercially or non-commercially with or without attribution. Well, obviously, attribution is appreciated. Uh, these pictures are by a variety of folks. We've got Ryan Wallace, got Eugene Traguba, Jamie Street, Alvaro Serrano, Joao Silas, David Dilbert, and Casey Horner. You can get the originals if you want them. They're all on unsplash.com. Okay, make a new Swift UI view inside here called Detail View. And this needs one property, which is a book it's gonna show. So we'll say this thing must be given a book. Now, even adding that one property will cause our code to break because our previews don't have a book being passed in. Previously, this was easy to fix. We just sent in an example object to work with. But with core data involved, it gets really, really messy. And honestly, the best thing to do rather than trying to hack around core data is just to say, okay, let's just forget previews here, just bail out. It's just a lot of hassle. So I would, if I were you, delete the previews for this view if you value your happiness. Anyway, I want to turn my attention to more interesting problems than fighting with core data, namely designing the view itself. We're gonna place our category image, so fantasy, horror, romance, and so forth, into a Z stack or a Z stack. And it's intentional so we can actually have uh, information about the genre on top. We'll layer them one above the other with the Z stack. So we'll have both uh, the genre and the picture behind for illustration purposes. I've picked out some styling that I think looks good, but of course, by all means, please experiment with that and see what you think looks good. The only thing I'd say you should keep is the main scroll view for the whole thing, which ensures our review will fit on the screen no matter how long it is, no matter what device the user's using, and also what font size adjustments they have in place with dynamic type. So it'll always fit. So in our body, we'll say there is a scroll view, then a Z stack with alignment of bottom trailing. So a bottom right corner in left to right languages. We'll then draw an image using our uh, books genre. We're gonna nil coalesce this down to an example, so I'll use fantasy. I'll make it resizable and scaled to fit. So it'll size correctly to the screen. Below that, we'll say is uh, the book genre uppercase, nil coalescing, fantasy, like that. And my styling, I'm gonna choose uh, a font of dot caption with a font weight of black, padding of eight points, uh, foreground color of white, dot white even, dot white. There we go. A background of dot black, dot opacity, 0.75, so a little bit see-through. Uh, a little clip shape here, clip shape using capsule. And then I'll use offset to bring it in just a little bit from the bottom right corner. So I'll say offset X minus five, Y minus five. Just pull it in from the bottom right edge. I'll then add a navigation title of our book's title, nil coalesced again to unknown book. And then navigation bar title display mode of dot in line, because we're a second screen, not a top level screen. So we've got the title, sorry, we've got the genre name here, 
in the bottom right corner of the Z stack with uh, the picture behind it. And just to make sure it stands out with this nice sort of translucent black, plus a nice bold font and so forth. Below that stack here, this is where we're going to add the author, the review, and the rating. Now, we don't want users to be able to adjust the rating here. That's already happened. They've rated the book already. Instead, we want a constant binding, just like we had before in a preview. Even better, because our rating view is built with SF symbols, which for the rating image, we can scale it up seamlessly with a simple font modifier. Give me a bigger font. So we'll say, uh, below the Z stack is text of book.author, nil coalescing again, unknown author, in a font of title, and I'll use a foreground color of secondary. Then a text of book review, nil coalescing, no review, with some padding, hello, both dogs, uh, with some padding, and then our rating view below that, the rating will be a constant rating of the int of our book's rating. Remember that's an int 16. I use a font of large title that's nice and chunky on the screen. All right, real fast, both dogs, come on. One, two, the dogs, okay. And that completes detail view, and that's it, right? We can already go back to content view and say, uh, update our nav link right here, don't go to a simple text view, but instead go to the detail view. So we'll do detail view, book of our book. And now, run the app again. What do you want? Both dogs, come on, up here. What do you want, hey? Hey? Nitwits, come on, up. Here you go. Come on, set up the camera while it's loading. So here is uh, Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, select that, and there we go. There's our uh, layout looking really nice. A little Tom Bombadil thing, but nice five big scalable stars. It all looks good. You like it too? I think so. All right, let's get out of you two. Come on. Anyway, uh, you can now tap any of your books. They should all work correctly with our new layout.